I have a daily bread scripture for you today. I love this scripture. It's one of my favorite scriptures. It's over in Psalms 139, and we're going to start with uh, verse 17. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God. How great is the sum of them. Do you know that God is thinking about you all the time? Now, as, as human beings, we can only think of maybe three or four things at one time. We can think of what we're going to do this morning. We can think of what we need to wear. We can think about our children. We can think about our husbands or our business or whatever it is. But God can be thinking of so many people at the exact same time. And when he's thinking about those people, when he's thinking about you, he's thinking about how to solve your problem. He's thinking about what miracle to bring to you. He's thinking about how to answer your prayers. And it says in verse 18, if I should count them, what? Count what? Count the thoughts that he's thinking about you. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. How many of you have been to the beach? How many of you have been to the ocean and there is all that sand? You look down the shoreline and millions and millions and millions of grains of sand. And the word of God tells us that that sand is the thoughts. The number is more than the sand that he's thinking about you. Today, he's thinking about you. He's thinking about how much he loves you. He's thinking about how he can change you how he can cause your heart to be more like him. He's thinking about how to bring you your miracle. He's thinking about how to bring you the answer to your prayer. He's thinking about you because he loves you. God sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for you. If you had been the only person in the world alive, God would have still sent his son to die for you. He loves you. And he's thinking about you today. And he'll think about you tomorrow. Let me pray for you. God, show everyone that's watching today how much you love them and how much you're thinking about them. Do something special for them. Do us a miracle for them. And let them know that the, you have a plan for their life. And that plan includes miracles of healing, miracles of change, miracles of children coming back to God, miracles that you have for them. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you are working a miracle for them today. Amen. We love you.